Hi, and welcome to this gentle chair yoga exercise class brought to you by the clinicians in the Chronic Pain Leap Service at Toronto Rehab, part of the University Health Network. Before we begin, make sure you have set up a safe environment for exercise. Sit in a sturdy chair with no wheels, make sure the floor around you is free of objects, and you have room to move your arms and legs. Wear non-slip shoes or bare feet for good traction, and it's optional to have a strap, towel, or TheraBand handy. We will be showing you three versions of the exercises so that you can choose the level that suits you today. Feel free to follow Kara in the middle, Bonnie if you're interested in standing variations, or Bronwyn for more gentle options. You can make further modifications by increasing or decreasing the number of repetitions, the intensity, or the time spent in each exercise. Always listen to your body and have fun moving with us. We are going to start with some activation moves, which are designed to help wake up our body and our nervous system and get us ready for exercise. Let's begin by sitting up tall at the front of the chair. Roll shoulders up, back and down to set up a balanced posture. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's do that again. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale, release. First, we are going to start by tapping the belly with one or both hands. You can tap to the beat of the music if you like. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel the vibrations running through you as you tap. Now we're going to tap to the left side of the ribs. You can tap with one hand or both hands. Wherever you can reach is fine. Breathing in and breathing out. Move to the other side. Tap the right ribs. Breathing in, breathing out. Now tapping below both collarbones, upper chest area. Now tapping the back of the neck with one or both hands. Then right hand reaches across and taps the left neck and shoulder area. Reach your left arm out in front of you, palm facing down, and begin to tap the outside of the arm from the shoulder to the back of the hand and fingers. Then rotate the palm, clap the hands, and continue to tap up the inside of the left arm towards the shoulder. Cross the body and tap the right neck and shoulder area with the left hand. In your own time, work down the outside of the right arm to the back of the hand and fingers. Rotate the palm and clap the hands and work your way up the inside of the right arm. Back to the collarbones and down to the belly. Then to the hips on either side, tapping with one or both hands. Moving down the outsides of your legs. Through your shins. If you can reach your feet, tapping the tops of your feet. Moving up to the insides of the shins. Through the knee area. Tap the thighs. Now back to the abdomen. And then around to the low back sacrum area. Then up to the kidneys. 
Good, now shake your arms out. Breathe in and breathe out. Release everything. Place your palms facing up on your lap. Close the eyes if that's comfortable for you. Take a few calming breaths here. Notice the change in your body. Now imagine that you have a string at the crown of your head pulling you upwards and that your legs and feet are growing roots down into the surfaces that support you. Breathing in and breathing out, heart is gently lifted, slight chin tuck, and shoulder blades are drawing together. This is called tall mountain pose. We will come back to it often in this practice. Let's warm up the spine. Place your hands on your thighs. Take a breath in. Yearn the heart upwards as you look towards the sky. Breathe out and round through the spine, looking down towards your belly button. Doing this a few times, inhale, arching the back, draw the shoulder blades together and exhale round through the spine, perhaps extending through the elbows, mobilizing the spine with some gentle wave-like movements. Doing one more cycle. And then place hands on hips. Stay seated or come to standing like Bonnie with feet at least hip width apart. Circle the hips if you're standing or circle the torso if you're sitting, rotating in as large a circle as is comfortable for you. Now change directions. Breathe. Good, return to tall mountain. Turn your palms upwards in front of your heart. Elbows are bent. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, extend your arms forward as if you were giving a gift to a friend. Then inhale, draw that gift back into you. Hinge at the hips. If you're standing, bend the knees coming into a squat like Bonnie. Continue at your own rhythm. Exhale, reaching forward and inhaling, drawing back. Good. Place your palms on your lap and take a moment to breathe and reconnect. Now imagine that you have a ball of energy between your two palms. And as you breathe in, this ball of energy is going to grow bigger as the elbows swing out to the sides. And as you breathe out, you compress the ball of energy between your palms. You can do this one arm at a time or both arms together. Breathing into the ball of energy, breathing out, compressing the ball. Keep the chest lifted and open and the shoulders down and back as the elbows lift. Finding Tall Mountain. 
Now we will begin a series of sun salutations with cactus arms. We will do these a few times, so feel free to watch the first one. You can also do these in standing or with one arm at a time. Rotate palms out. Inhale and float the arms up any amount. Exhale, bend the elbows, coming into cactus-shaped arms, palms face forward. Then inhale, arms back up, extending through the elbows. Exhale, arms sweep down to your side. Well done. Let's do that again a few times. Inhale, float the arms up, palms face each other. Exhale, bend the elbows into cactus arms, opening the chest. Inhale, reaching up again. And exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, reach up any amount. And exhale, bend the elbows, draw shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms reach up and exhale, lower down. Let's do that two more times and feel free to try closing the eyes for the last ones. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, elbows bend to cactus arms. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, lower back down. Last one. Inhale, float arms up. Exhale, elbows draw down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, lower down. Let's roll the shoulders a few times. Feel free to circle one shoulder at a time. And reverse the direction. Now open the knees wide, just enough so you begin to feel a stretch along both inner thighs. Your knees are directly over ankles. Sitting up tall, place hands on thighs, take a breath, and then lean a little forward so there is some weight going through the heels of your hands into your thighs. Now we're going to do some calf raises, one side at a time, and then both together. Lift your left heel, coming to the ball of your foot, and drop the heel down. Repeat a few times at your own pace. Now move to the right side. Come to the ball of the right foot by lifting the heel. Do a few ankle pumps. And then if you like doing both simultaneously or one at a time, pumping the heels up and down. Last one. All right, now take your left hand and gently apply some pressure to the inner left thigh. You may be getting a stretch here already as you sit tall. If you like, you can add a small twist here, looking over your right shoulder. And then we'll do that one on the other side. So come back to center, inhale, and exhale, press the right thigh open with the right hand as you look left. Take a breath. and return to center. Let's do that again on each side, gently pressing the left inner thigh, sitting up tall and turn towards the right belly button in. Return to center and press through the right inner thigh, look over your left shoulder, breathing in, breathing out and coming back to center. 
Good. Now sitting up tall, left hand on left thigh, bend the elbow, side bend towards the left, maybe resting the left forearm on the thigh. Then take your right palm to your heart. Begin to open the heart to the sky. Breathing here. As we stay in this side stretch for a few breaths, you have the option to take the right hand to the hip, like Bronwyn, to reach right arm up overhead, like Kara, or to circle the right arm around, like Bonnie. Listen to what your body wants to do today. Bronwyn will show another way to circle the arm, like a pendulum. Then inhale, come back up, sitting tall. Let's do the other side. Exhale, side bend to the right, bending the right elbow and maybe placing forearm on your thigh. Pause here, sensing into the body. Then bring your left palm to your heart and open towards the sky, gazing upwards. Take a breath here. And then decide on whatever arm position you like for the left side, either placing on your hip, floating it overhead, or circling. Now sitting up tall, take a breath. And we'll windshield wiper the knees back and forth. That should feel good. Your option to do one leg at a time or both together. For the next exercise, we'll be working our abdominals. So when you're ready, sit at the very front of your chair Sitting tall, press down through the feet, lift through the heart center, take a breath in, and as you exhale, lean your torso back while keeping the chest open and lifting and the spine long. Feel your abdominals working as you draw the low ribs in, and then leaning forward back to tall mountain. Leaning back until you start feeling your abdominals working, low ribs in, take a moment here, pause, and then inhale to bring yourself back. Exhale, lean back, hold. And inhale, bring yourself back into tall mountain. You decide how far back you lean the farther back you go, the harder it will be. Try to keep your spine from losing its tall mountain shape throughout the movement. Keep doing this at your own pace. We will demonstrate other options designed to increase the challenge when you're feeling up for it. As you lean back, hug one knee up, keeping everything else still as the knee draws in towards the chest. Another variation is to grab behind the knee with your hands or with a strap like Bronwyn. Lower back down and alternate knees at your own pace. Exhaling, leaning back and inhaling to tall mountain. Repeat a few more times with whatever version you like.
Maybe some of you will want to grab the back of your chair or reach your arms forward like Bonnie and try lifting both knees up. That's the super advanced version. Breathing in and breathing out the whole time. Good. Let's pause. Feel into the body. Breathing in and breathing out. Next, we're going to try sun salutations with some twists. So just like the cactus sun salutations, feel free to watch the first sequence and then join in on the next round. Bonnie will demonstrate the sequence in standing. Inhale the arms forward and up. As you exhale, turn to the left and lower both arms into a T-shape. Left arm is back and right arm reaches forward, shoulders away from ears. Then inhale, bring both arms back together, reaching up. Exhale, turn to the right and drop arms to a T-shape. Right arm back, left arm forward. Good. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, palms together and lower to heart center. Well done. Let's do this sequence a few times together. You can do this with one arm or both arms at a time, sitting or standing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist left, arms lower to a T. Inhale, lift and lengthen, arms up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, reach, arms up. And exhale, palms together and lower to heart center. Beautiful. Two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms together. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, palms together, lower down. Last one. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, turning left. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, turn right. Inhale, look up to the hands. And exhale, palms together, lower down. All right, shift yourself forward onto the front part of your chair. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Reach your arms back as far as they'll go behind you, opening the chest. Now rotate the hands so the palms are facing behind you. You can stay here, or if you can, place the back of your hands onto your sacrum low back area. So your elbows are bent slightly and winging out to the sides. Now flapping your wings should feel like a nice opening through the shoulder blades. Good. Shake out your arms. Time for our most challenging pose of the session. Sitting in the front part of your chair in tall mountain, reach behind you and place fingertips on the seat of the chair. Maybe you can bring your whole palm to the back of the chair with fingers pointing towards you. This is going to feel like a big stretch for many of you in the wrists and forearms. 
So please feel free to stay here and breathe up in between the collarbones, holding this position. Keep the head looking forwards, or if it feels comfortable on the neck, you can tuck the chin and gently lift the head back. Straighten the elbows, lift the chest. Anyone who wants to try the advanced version can follow Bonnie and Kara. Push down through your feet and lift your bum off the chair, just a tiny lift, and then come back down. Trying this a few times if you feel up for it. Keep breathing. Don't forget about that important aspect of the movement. Good. And then slowly release the pose. Give your wrists a good shake after that. Now let's do a tricep stretch. Raise your left arm up overhead and bend the left elbow. Your fingers should be able to touch the back of your neck. Stay here or take your right hand to the back of the arm to gently press back until you feel the stretch that you want. Breathing in, sitting up tall. Good, and release. Let's do the other side. Inhale the right arm up, bend the elbow. Option to place left hand to the back of the arm for some extra sensation. Breathing in and breathing out. One more breath. And exhale, release, shake your arms out once again. Time for a hamstring stretch. So straighten your left leg along the floor in front of you. Right knee is bent. Inhale, hinge forward and do a few rowing motions first to warm up the back of the leg. Rocking forwards and backwards. Now, turning it into a stretch. Both hands can come to the opposite thigh, or you can reach towards the left ankle or toes. Bonnie is demonstrating a version in standing using another chair or stool to place the leg. Breathing in and breathing out. Then inhale to come up Exhale, switch legs. Start by trying some rowing motions, rocking the body towards the straight leg a few times, testing the water, so to speak. And then leaning forward, hinging at the hip, keeping both hands on the left bent knee or reaching for the right ankle or foot. Deep breath in and out. Inhaling back to tall mountain. And now reach your arms out to a T-shape and begin to hug in right arm on top and left arm underneath. Give yourself a big hug. Breathe in and out. Then uncross the arms, open out to a T, and this time change which arm is on top, left arm on top and right arm on the bottom. Breathe in and breathe out. Now 
Last stretch we're going to do is for the front of the thighs, the hip flexors. So pivot over to the left side of the chair or come to standing like Bonnie. Let your right knee drop down to the ground or step the right leg back if you're standing and keep the left knee bent. Walk the right foot back any amount until you feel a stretch in the front of the hip. Hold on to the back of the chair for support. Option to reach the right arm up. Breathing in, breathing out. Now switch legs. Swing around to the right side of the chair or step the right leg forward and the left leg back. Left leg walks back until you feel a good stretch in your left hip. Draw the belly button in and inhale, reach your left arm up if you like, holding on to the back of the chair for support. Breathing in and breathing out. and then coming back to center. Well done. We are going to finish with a soothing movement for the nervous system to start calming down after these exercises. Take your hands and begin to rub the upper arms up and down very gently. Breathing in and breathing out. congratulating yourself for taking this time to move the body to work hard. And then I'll invite you to place your hands palms up on your lap closing the eyes. If you have space available, you can lie down. Take a moment to be still. Nothing you need to do, nowhere you need to go for the next little while. Giving yourself this gift of doing absolutely nothing. Breathing in and know you're breathing in and breathing out and know that you're breathing out. Thank you so much for joining us today.